स्टेनो वाले बाबू वेलकम्स यू शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन इन मेल एंड फीमेल वॉइस फ्रॉम ऑल सोर्सेस लाइक मैगजीन्स स्पीचेस एंड एडिटोरियल्स एट वेरियस स्पीड्स अप टू वन ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू पी एम फॉर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक एस एस सी डी एस एस बी सी आर पी एफ दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर फाइव सर आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू यू फॉर द एड्रेस विच यू गेव अस यस्टरडे इट शोड हाउ हार्ड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हैड बारगेन्ड एंड ट्राइड टू गेट गुड टर्म्स फ्रॉम द सिक्स ऑफ द यूरोपियन इकोनॉमिक कम्युनिटी वी आर ग्रेटफुल टू हिम फॉर वॉट ही डिड आई मस्ट however confess that the ultimate picture which has emerged is hardly satisfactory each group of countries is somewhat differently affected the prime ministers of canada and new zealand have stated their views on how the present proposals affect the more developed countries president ayub whose country is faced with problems similar to ours has stated his views i largely agree with this general approach to the problem i shall naturally deal with the problems facing developing countries like india i should like to make some general remarks you mr prime minister referred in your opening remarks to the world situation the present conflict the two world wars and the need to prevent a collision between the two great powers you also referred to europe's concern with the east west conflict we are all concerned with it every step which we now take must therefore be judged from this point of view namely whether it reduces tension between the east and the west and whether it decreases the threat of war we fear that the effect of the present proposals and the uk's entry into the european community might be the reverse and might add to the tension between the east and the west some east european countries have claimed that the european common market will lead to an extension of the nato alliance that may not be wholly correct but it may well result in the increase of tension between the east and the west the chances of disarmament would grow less that would be a terrible loss for disarmament will lead to a greater economic progress than the creation or extension of economic communities these are considerations which should be borne in mind in the context of the wider world situation coming to the present proposals i should like to remind you mr prime minister and other prime ministers that there is need for a new approach of promoting a more healthy relationship between the developed and developing countries the un has declared the present decade as the decade 
ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट थैंक यू